Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you for being here at the double nickel celebration of Ernest Jones, otherwise known as the Godfather around here. <laughs> My name is Sean Lewis, I'm the junior Godfather. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm the understudy. So, what can we say about Ernest Jones as you know, he celebrates the double nickel celebration and you know, the only thing I can think of is uh, a wonderful time to be here among family and friends and to celebrate a, a new day that God has given us. So I want to thank the Lord for being here today, for allowing us to have this celebration and for allowing Mickey, as some of us know him, has, to dress in his finest. <laughs> Sit behind the camera as usual. What? But I want to give him the opportunity to be in front of the camera. To do what he does best. So I'm going to give... All of y'all know that James... No. Ernest loves James Brown, right? Y'all know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> y'all know he loves James Brown. When I first met Ernest, though, he came in... He did an introduction and he did this James Brown thing. Scared the heck out of me. <laughs> but I'm going to give him the opportunity. I'm going to give you the opportunity to, to hear James Brown, Ernest Jones style. Let's welcome Mr. Ernest Jones, birthday boy himself. Welcome, everyone. Now, when I was... I don't know, about seven years old. Uh -oh. I had one of my all-time favorite, because my favorite artist of all time was James Brown. Why? James Brown was so self-expressed. You know, he had lyrics that was like, nobody would understand it. It was like, ah! And that was a James Brown lyric. <laughs> he would have songs called Papa's Got a Brand New Bag. And I'm like, what is that all about? And then all of a sudden, I was having one of my favorite, favorite James Brown dreams. You know, I lived on 275 Beaker Avenue. Anybody know that place is at? Yo, know, so my room was like on the right, and my mom's room was on the left, and I was having one of my favorite, favorite James Brown dreams. I was at the Apollo. People were screaming, doing, yelling, and everybody was jumping up and down. And I said, oh, this must be great. I said, I'm on stage at the Apollo. And all of a sudden, in the middle of the night, I said, ah, and my mother woke up. She said, Mickey, be quiet. You're waking up the entire house. And in that moment, I said, it ain't no, it's not okay to be James Brown no more. But right now, at my double nickel party, yeah, all right. somebody says, we got Fred in the house. Ah! Anybody want to make some noises for Fred? Fred Thomas, the original bass player, has got the phone for James Brown, you know? And if James Brown can't be here, I got the next best thing. And that's Fred Thomas. So everybody, give a loud round of applause. Stand up for Mr. Fred Thank you. 
like we used to say. Come on. Come on. Come on. Like this, you know.
Nah, <laughs> Lu, it's alright if you slow this down and do the blues. A little blues. Yeah. Is it alright? Yeah. We need to go out and the Lord and do a little bit of blues. Alright. As a matter of fact, we want to do a little thing about BB King. Oh. And Tyler. Every day. When I get to see my baby, in other words, I got the blues. You know? Every day, every day. Something like this here, y'all.
to go back to some brown. Another one of my favorite artists was Otis Redding. The great late Otis Redding. I'm gonna do a little song by young Paul. I've been loving you too long to stop right now. It goes something like this here though.